All right. Are you ready to step into the principal's office and have a lasting impact on your school community? You're ready to unlock the secrets to what it means to do well in the principal interview. In this episode, we're going to explore strategies to help you stand out in your next principal interview. Grab a pen, a piece of paper, and get ready to take some notes because we're starting right now. Hey everybody, Gordon Amberson here, Superintendent of Schools and Gallup Certified Strength Coach. On this channel, we leverage my experience from classroom teacher to school district superintendent to help you go further, faster in your educational journey. If this is your first time with us, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you don't miss any cool updates or any of our newest episodes. True and authentic leadership. That's what the school principalship is. It allows you, as the leader of that school, to lead people, lead programs, manage budgets, organize systems, manage a portion of the entire school community. We know that school principals have a profound impact on their neighborhoods, they have a profound impact on the families that they serve, and most importantly, they have a profound impact on the lives of their scholars. So in today's episode, we're gonna explore how to get prepared for the principal interview how to be able to take that information, that the experience that you've developed, you've built up over time, and be able to translate that in to the high intense moment of the school site principal interview. So let's jump in because we're gonna start with strategy number one. All right, strategy number one, understanding the school's vision and culture. First thing you have to do as you prepare for the principal interview is to truly understand and have done your research on the background, the traditions, the values, the beliefs of the actual school that you're gonna be interviewing at. And a lot of this information is readily available. You're digging into the school's website, you're digging into the district's website, you're going to publicly available data and measurement websites, you're looking on social media, but you wanna be curious and you wanna inquire deeply about what are the things that they hold dear? What do they care about? And once you know what that is, then you wanna to begin to quickly ascertain whether that comports and connects with who you are. Whether those visions, those beliefs, those practices, that culture that is innate to the campus, does that align with who you are? Do you have the knowledge, the skills, and the expertise to add value to that current vision and to the current culture? Can you cultivate it? Can you build on it? Can you nurture it? But also, a counterpoint, maybe the vision and the culture needs to change and maybe you are just the transformational change agent to do that. You will learn that. You will discover that through your research process. So the number one thing as you think about how you understand the school's vision and culture is to get curious, get really nosy, dig in and find as much information as possible. Capture all that information, get it all in front of you, lay it all out and just start to think and start to read and start to think, how does this align with who I am as a leader? How do my current skills and knowledge and attributes and abilities, how will it enhance this school's vision? How will it enhance this school's culture? Or on the counter side, do I have the skills, the knowledge and the expertise to be a transformational change agent and bring a new vision and rebuild a new culture that may be desperately needed? But understanding the school's vision and the actual culture is strategy number one as you prepare for your principal's interview. All right, so now let's talk about strategy number two. But before we go to strategy number two, share with us in the comments below, what questions do you have about the principal interview process? What are you worried about? What's on your mind? What do you, what's percolating? Share that with us in the comments below because we wanna know what things are on your mind. We wanna answer those questions for you. We wanna give you some feedback. We wanna build additional episodes and content all around the things, those pain points, those things that you're worried about and that you wanna prepare for. In your next principal interview, drop those questions in the comments below and let's move to strategy number two. All right, strategy number two, prepare comprehensive responses to common questions. There are key questions that are gonna talk about data analysis, employee supervision, student discipline, professional development, 
collaboration. These, these are key terms and themes that come up over and over and over again in principal interviews. As a matter of fact, we'll hook up a card um, for some previous episodes that we've shared on not only common questions and how to answer specific questions, but also in addition to that, a framework called the STAR method of how to really strategically analyze and respond to questions. So check the, check the card up in the top and that's another episode, another resource. But let's talk a little bit about how you prepare those responses, comprehensive in nature. So think through the most important key aspects of being a leader of a school site. As a principal, you're gonna, you're gonna focus on being an instructional leader. You're gonna focus on setting clear direction for the staff. You're gonna focus on thinking about the broad needs of the campus around budgets, around instructional programs. What are the programs that are key? What are the uh, budgetary needs of the school site? What are the professional development needs of the staff? These are gonna be things that are gonna come up time and time again. So you're gonna start to think about, again, referring back to strategy number one, you know about this school, you've done the analysis, you've been curious, you've looked at all the data and all the evidence that you can to understand the vision and the actual culture. So now you can formulate that to say, here would be my ideas around the development of a comprehensive professional development program for the staff. Here are my views on how I would build a robust program that is focused on classroom instruction, providing the resources, the support, the materials, and the information needed for every one of my classroom teachers to thrive and be instructionally sound and ready to go. And here are the things I'm going to make sure that I have to provide a holistic, well-rounded educational experience for all of our students around their social and emotional developmental needs. These are all things that you want to have comprehensive responses ready to go. We don't know how the questions are actually going to be phrased or worded, but you can be prepared with thematically comprehensive responses to those big ideas, those big topics. So making sure you prepare that, you have those at the ready, and you're able to deploy those in a comprehensive, articulate way that shows your ability to synthesize information and then be able to present that information back out during the interview is gonna be an important and critical strategy that shows your ability to lead and have capacity and have the resilience and also the, the nimbleness to be able to deal with the challenges of the principalship because it is a fast moving environment always, right? So we need dynamic, resilient, transformational, thought provoking rock star leaders. That's what we're all looking for. And we're gonna prepare you as much as possible for those types of interview questions by being comprehensive in our responses to those common questions and those common themes. And that's strategy number two. Okay, strategy number three is demonstrating leadership competencies and innovations. Now, this is a place where I'm really excited to see where this goes and what's the next iteration and the next, the next layer or the next level of this. Because innovations and leadership competencies in this exponential changing, advancing landscape of artificial intelligence and blockchain and all these disruptive technologies that are making us think and lead in new and different ways, we are gonna have an expectation as superintendents and as executive leaders that are looking for principals and hiring principals, we're gonna have an expectation that you have competencies around these particular disruptive technologies. So start thinking about how you'll showcase those. Start, start thinking about how you share with us, again, that you're curious about AI. Start showing us that you're curious about growing and professionally developing in some of these areas that are new, that are, that are focused on where the world is going to be in five, 10, and 20 years from now, as opposed to focusing on the core competencies and the leadership capacities of what served us well from 2010 to 2020. We are in a new place, in a new environment, and I'm, so I'm gonna challenge you in this particular area to think outside the box. Now, you might say, some things about these new technologies, and you may completely catch an interview panel off guard. They may not have any idea what you're talking about, and that's okay. You, you might be a little bit out there. 
They might need to reel you back in, but it's, but it's going to serve you well. Trust me. If you give it enough time, those, those thought provoking new ideas the you pushing the boundary as a leader, you really want to interact with these new leadership capacities and these new innovations. Trust me, they will serve you well. It's what we are looking for. Most of us don't know it's what we're looking for yet, but trust me, we're looking for it. And it may be 12 months from now, it may be 24 months from now, hopefully it's not 36 months from now. I'm certainly looking for it now in leaders that they have these additional capacities, that they have these additional skills. It's gonna serve our students well because our students are living in that new world. They are living in an AI world. They are living in a disruptive, innovative technology world. They are looking at how do they move into the metaverse? How do they interface with blockchain and smart contracts? And they are in a completely digitized reality. It's our turn to catch up to them. We've got to lead them, so we've got to get comfortable with pushing ourselves beyond our own comfort levels. So this is a great strategy. This is a great opportunity as you prepare for your next principal interview to, again, stay curious, be nosy, start delving into places and spaces to learn new things that you may be not familiar with yet. But as you start to build your capacity, as you start to build your knowledge, you start to build your experience, you're going to stand out because you're going to be building skills and knowledge and capacities that other people are taking for granted. And I don't want that to be you. I want you to be actually leading this conversation. I want you to be leading these school communities because you are attacking these new ideas and these new capacities all around your leadership capacity and innovation. That's really, really, really important. And it's the next place we need to go. And as you want to learn more about how you get prepared for your next principal interview, check out this next video here. It's going to give you a bunch of skills, a bunch of strategies and a bunch of tips. If you're getting value out of this, don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to leave us a comment. We want to continue to build your capacity. We want to grow leaders. We want to grow educators. Education is the most profoundly impactful profession in the world. And we want to tell as many people as possible. We want to invite as many people into this profession as possible because we are going to be the change agents and we are going to be the people who help to craft and shape the next generation of scholars. So check out this next video as you get ready for your principal interview and we're going to see you on the next one. Thanks everybody. Be well.